Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to write our first Apex class. If you don't know what Apex is, it's the language used to develop on the Salesforce platform. So if you don't have a developer org already, you're going to want to head over to developer.salesforce.com and sign up and get that all set up. And from here, you're going to click on this drop down and go to your developer account and log in. And this is going to bring you to your developer org. And from here, to write our Apex class, we're going to go click on this cog and click developer console. Now that we're in the developer console, this is where all of our development will be done. So we can click file, new, Apex class. I'll make this a bit bigger so you guys can see. We need to give our Apex class a name. We're just going to call it my first class okay and this is going to generate our class for us and from here we can write our first method so to do that we're going to say public static void because this method isn't going to return anything and we're going to call it my first method and if you're familiar with java then you'll know that this syntax is very similar because this is what Apex is based on. Um, so now that we've made our first method, we just need to write something so that we know it's working. So we can say system.debug. We can just pass a message here. We can say, hello world. And now once that's done, we're just gonna say file, save. And this is our first class. And just for your information, if we have an error in the code, so say if we delete that semicolon and we click file, save again, this is all gonna compile in real time and it'll notify us if we have any errors in our code. So here we can see on line four, we're missing a semicolon. So really nice informative. And um, it's basically telling me that before this closing bracket, it's expecting a semicolon. So we're gonna put that in. And whenever we click file, save again, this error should go away, and it has. So now that we've wrote this class and this method, how do we verify that it's all working? So what we're gonna do is click debug and op open execute anonymous window. And from here, we're able to write any Apex code. So to verify it's working, we're gonna type my first class, the name of the class, we want to execute this method called my first method on this class. And this is the method that we've just wrote. So now that we've typed that in, we're gonna make sure that this is toggled on, open log, and we can click execute. So once this is all finished, we're gonna see that the log is opened. So this might look confusing at first, but if we toggle debug only on, we can see that our message was printed. Hello world. So this is exactly what we expected. Um, so this is our first class in Apex. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more Apex related videos please subscribe and give any suggestions of what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.